Happy Saturday, family. Happy Saturday. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. I'm so excited. Um, of course, today is Saturday. So we do our Wealth Builder Saturdays. I'm rocking my Wealth Builder hoodie. If you would like to order one, ask me how. I'll be more than happy to um, help you place that order. Or you can go to our Breakthrough app where you will find all of the information. Uh, but I'm so excited because we did our Wealth Builder session this morning. It was a powerful, powerful session. So get excited. You know, um, this has blessed me so much. And I just want to give you a little background on why we do Wealth Builder Saturdays. First, let me have, introduce myself to those of you who may not know who I am. I am Pastor Carolyn, your pastor and purpose pusher of Tears to Break Through Ministries and Conference and the founder and owner of Queendom Purpose Academy and Lounge and the founder of Layla Simone Shop Travel for a Cause. And so, as you can see, I wear many hats. I am a serial entrepreneur. I'm a market, I have a marketplace ministry um, and my ministry is the minister to mainly women, some men, who are starting over after trauma, after loss, after, you know, all types of um, setbacks, right? And so we hold each other accountable. And so that's what Tears to Breakthrough Ministries is about. And that's what Kingdom Purpose Academy is about. And so when we do our Wealth Builder Saturdays, it's to build each other up, to edify each other, to encourage each other, to inspire each other to move forward. Amen. And we break through. We're breaking through. We break through it together. Whatever we're going through, we break we are breaking through it together. And so we break through those things that were meant to break us. I'm going to say that again. We break through those things that were meant to break us. And so we know that life, life can, you know, be hard. Let's be honest. There's a lot happening. And, um, you know, we, we all want to be happy. But how many know that happiness is based on what is happening? And there's a lot happening. And so as a result, there are a lot of people who are stressed and depressed hey, and some are just a hot mess right but God has a plan and a purpose for you God has an amazing plan and purpose for you and he had that plan and purpose even before you were in your mama's womb right so don't you let anyone tell you any different you are worth better right you have value you are valuable in the sight of God amen and that, look that's that's all that matters okay because some of us, you know, we, 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 we suffer from imposter syndrome. We want to be like everybody else. But I want to encourage you today to look within, look at yourself. And that's the other thing I want to talk about. Um, I have so many things I want to talk about. So let me not get off track. But um, yeah, so Wealth Builder Saturday. And so what Wealth Builder Saturday is, um, is every Saturday we... Um, I give you the opportunity to come into our private Facebook community and post your dream, dream business, your, your ideas, because God is always given, given, giving us, Holy Spirit is always revealing things to us and giving us witty ideas and strategies. Amen. And so, so many of you are suffering and struggling financially because you're not listening to the voice of God. And so just to give you a little background on how this whole wealth builder thing came about is because um, after mentoring and ministering to women who were starting over and one young woman said to me, you know, she had gotten away from her abuser. She went back to school. She, she got a traditional nine to five. She was able to get herself a, an apartment and be in a safe place in a safe space for her and her children. And then she, she she reached out to me and she says, you know what, but Pastor C, she called me Pastor C. She said, you know what, I'm, I'm still struggling. She says, I'm still struggling because I'm struggling to make the ends meet. And I had to explain to her, like I'm gonna explain to you, the system, this world system is not set up for the ends to meet. The ends will never meet. And so that's why we have to create our own additional income streams. And so what I teach, because this ministry, Tears of Breakthrough Ministry is all about wholeness because God wants us whole. 
He wants us whole in our bodies. He wants us whole spiritually. He wants us whole in our minds. And he wants us whole in our finances. And he wants us to be good stewards of our finances. And so I had to explain to her, you have to come up with a, another stream of income. And so like many of us, because I mean, there was a time when I was thought the same thing, like, what would I do? What, I don't have anything. Where, where do I get this from? What do I do? And I said, because I believe this, I totally believe that God has given all of us something. And then the word that God gave me, well, two words. One, he told me to tell her to use what's already in her hand. So I, I relayed that message to her. And he also told me, because many of you know my story, after getting going through divorce and really suffering through financial ruins, right? God told me, and I was like, Lord, how do I, because I, I had a business, I had, well, I had businesses, I've always been an entrepreneur, even when I worked a traditional job, I always still had, you know, some type of business on the side, and, and, but I had went through literally financial ruins, where I almost lost the home, you know, um, I, like, utilities were turned off, but, you know, it was like a whole thing, and I began to pray, and I was asked God, like, what, like, what do I do? I don't know what to do. And God says, what, what you are anointed to do, you can get paid to do. And so that is a message that I literally shout from the rooftop. So I'm talking to all of you, you, yes, you, what you are anointed to do, you can get paid to do. And so we all have something. God has given all of us gifts. He's given all of us talent. But many times we're fearful. We're, we're fearful you know, we don't think we can do it. We don't think we're worthy of better. We think everybody else is better, you know, ha have more skills than us or smarter than us, you know. And so I shared that message with her. And so she began to tell me all the excuses and all the things that she didn't know how to do and she didn't have and blah, 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 and all the setbacks. But then as I began to work with her and begin to show her her worth and to begin to just, allow her to really examine herself. She had, she has three children. At the time, her children were small and her children loved. One thing she always did with her children on the weekend was to bake cupcakes, right? So I said to her one day, I'm talking to her and she's baking these cupcakes and the kids are loving it. And I said, girl, right there, there you go. Your children love those cupcakes. And I've never tasted the cupcakes because she lives in another state. Um, but I said, but I promise you, the world will love your cupcakes. If you love your cupcakes, your family loves your cupcakes, the world will love your cupcakes. So what she started doing was baking cupcakes and sharing them and selling them and, 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 and selling them to neighbors. And then the neighbors start referring her to other people, to their friends. And now she has a whole cupcake business, right? A, a successful cupcake business. And so see how something that she was just doing naturally and that she didn't think was any big deal, was able to generate her another source of income. And so I'm giving you that same message. There's something that God has placed in your hand. What has God placed in your hand? What's in your house, right? You know, when I think about the, um, the, the story about the, the, the widow um, whose husband left her in debt in the Bible, and she went to the prophet, and she, she, because they were, the debtors were coming after her and, and they were threatening to take, take her, her sons. And she went to the prophet and the prophet said, listen, you know, because the prophet hears from God. The prophet said, go home. She said, you know, the prophet asked her, what do you have? What do you have? And, and she said, I don't have anything. All I have is a little bit of oil. All I have is a little bit of oil. And he said, well, go home, take that oil, go to your neighbors, borrow vessels, begin to pour the oil. And because she was obedient and because she had faith, okay, and we know that faith without works is dead, so she had to put some corresponding action to her faith. And as she began to pour the oil, the oil began to increase. God is God is a God of increase. God is a God that multiplies. And we all know the story. Read your Bible, okay? But I'm just saying that all of that to say God is no respect for a person. He is the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. So what? Is it that you have in your hand that you can turn into money? Amen. And so that's what, those are the types of things we talk about in our Wealth Builder sessions. And we, again, we hold each other accountable. So feel free to join me. What I want to do right now is I don't want to keep you long. I want to um, read 
our scripture. So I have the, we have the t-shirts and we have the hoodies. So we have the walking by the, the uh, walking, walking wealthy places t-shirts as well as um, the red bottom um, well filter tea. And we also have the bundle, I'll put that information below as well so that you can get yours. But let, let's go to Deuteronomy. 818. I want to read a couple of translations for you. Well, first, let me read what I, what I posted this morning in our group. Here's the Breakthrough Facebook community. I posted, um, because again, like I said, we I encourage um, business owners and those who, even if you're just dreaming about being, being in business, so that you can encourage yourself. How many know, know that we need to encourage ourselves, not sit around and wait for somebody else to encourage us? So I, what I do is I give you the opportunity to share that business. And, and even your business ideas with the group. And so I posted this morning, um, this is what I posted. I said, share your business and business ideas with us today. Don't be shy. I'm giving that message to you as well if you're on Facebook. I went on to say that business, and I am talking to you, that business, that business idea, and that business has purpose attached to it. I'm gonna say that again. That business and that business idea has purpose attached to it. I went on to say, God gave it to you and other lives are attached to the success of it. Other lives are attached to the success of your business and your business ideas, those dreams, those desires. The Bible says that God will give us the desires of our heart. And, and those are the desires that God has actually given us. He's given you those desires. If you have a, a burden for something and you just can't seem to shake that thing, you know, a, a dream that I believe God gave that to you, right? And so if God gave it to you, he's going to make it come to pass. He's going to make, make, make a way for it to happen, but you have to uh, be a part of, a part of it, right? You have to, like I said, faith without works is dead. You have to have corresponding action to your faith. And so I want to read Deuteronomy 8, 18, and we know the scripture, but it is he, God, who remember that it is God who gives you the power to get wealth, that he may confirm his covenant, which he swore to your fathers as it is this day. That's one translation, but this is actually my um, uh, favorite translation where it says, but you shall remember with profound respect, the Lord your God, for it is he who is giving you power to make wealth, that he may confirm his covenant, which he swore solemnly promised to your fathers, to your ancestors, as it is today. And it still applies today. It is still, it still applies today. You know, another translation says, the Christian Standard Bible says, but remember that the, the Lord your God gives you the power to gain wealth in order to confirm his covenant, he swore to your ancestors as it is today. Amen. So God is the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. This promise still applies, but it only applies to those who believe it applies to them. So if you don't believe it applies to you, right? If you don't receive it as your own, then it actually, you know, it's not going to work. <laughs> it's not going to work. It's not going to work for you. So um, what I would like for you to do is uh, think about, begin to think about what God has placed in your hand, what gifts, what talents, because most of us, especially as women, we're always giving, we're always volunteering to help out, we're always serving, and a lot of those same gifts that we use, that we just give away, and there's nothing wrong with that, because we should give. Given it shall be given to you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. So we should be giving of ourselves, of our finances, you know. But those same gifts that we use to give of our time and services, we can use those same gifts and talents to start a business, a small business. And not only, not only, there's so many reasons why I, I encourage you to start your own business. One, because we should have more than one stream of income. If we haven't learned anything from you know, the pandemic, we should have learned that we all need to be ready and have a multiple stream, a multiple income stream. But then also, 
having a home business, a small home business, like the young lady I mentioned with the cupcake business, you have tax write-offs. And see, that's one of the difference between the haves and the have nots. They have all these tax write-offs because they understand that having a business gives them tax write-offs. So where you don't have a business and you pay more taxes, those who do have a business can actually write some things off. So I'm not a tax uh, expert, okay? Not at all. But I'm just telling you what I know, what I live, from just, just personal um, experience. But so anyway, I, I, I just want to really pray for those of you who are struggling financially because that was something else that came out this morning. How many are, so many are struggling financially. So many are just struggling and don't know what to do. And, and like I said, when I uh, went through a divorce, I'm sorry, I have hot chocolate here. It's so cold here. When I went through a divorce and leading up to the divorce, I really suffered on so many levels, financially, emotionally, physically, spiritually, right? But, but I had to literally start all over again financially. So now, you know, I, I, I have a apparel line. Um, I have a travel business. I have... Um, books, I'm an author. So I have multiple income streams. So if one thing is not working, something else will, right? So you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. That's something my grandmother always told me. And so I just want to literally pray for all of you who are just struggling. Um, I, I entitled this, I, I will never be broke another day in my life. Say, I will never be broke another day in my life. And then after I pray, I want us to go to the Breakthrough app. I have a, the um, link in the, in the comment section. And I want us to do this affirmation. It's a powerful affirmation. Um, many of you are familiar with Stormy uh, Wellington. This girl is so powerful. She's an entrepreneur. She's just a powerhouse. And I'm, I'm always um, um, attracted to women in business, women who are successful in business, because... Um, that that's how I you 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 want to be you want to connect with people that are are of like minds and you want to also connect with people that are where you want to be <laughs> okay so if you're staying with the same people and hanging out with the same people but you're expecting a different result chances are you're going to continue to get the same result but this this young lady is she's powerful in business and she's She's a powerhouse, that's all I have to say. But anyway, so she has she has the um, this affirmation that I decided in a breakthrough app, we just say, um, we, we recite it. And also in our Wealth Builder sessions, we recite it. We have other affirmations because I'm big on speaking the life that we wanna see and not the life that we currently see. And affirmations do help you with that. So uh, we are gonna do that. I'm gonna pray, but I also want to uh, do that as well. So let me just go to my breakthrough app. If you have not already checked out the breakthrough app, you need to check out the breakthrough app because the breakthrough app is, oh my goodness, amazing. I have a whole testimony behind that as well. Um, yeah, oh my goodness, there's so much I want to tell you, but, but yeah, uh, let me, I do want to share that testimony with you and I've shared it before and I'm going to continue to share it. So God dropped into my spirit some years ago to create an app for my ministry. I like to call it my business street. So and I was just like, create an app. Like, how do you do that? I don't have, again, how do, I don't have the money for that. And God was just like, just do it. And I'm thinking, I don't even know how to do it. I don't know where to start. Same thing I told him when he, God instructed me to, to start an apparel line. Okay, so now, now he's like, create an app for your business street, okay? <laughs> ministry and my business. So again, I'm saying, telling him all the God, all the reasons why I can't do it, don't know where to start, da, 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 I don't have the money. Plus, I, I know somebody that created an app for her business and she literally paid like $50,000. I'm like, Lord, I don't have $50,000. But what God showed me is that just start. And so 
the way, try to make a long story short, the way the app is set up right now, you can access it and you don't even have to go to the app store because I'm not even at that phase yet, but you can still access the app and use it. God told me to just do it. And so that's the message I just want to say to many of you who are sitting around talking about you can't do it. You don't have the skill set. You need to go back to school. You don't have this. You don't have that. You don't have the money. Just start somewhere. You have to start somewhere. And so I, I was obedient. And the next day, literally, someone sent me information on creating your own app. And I was just like, wow. And I knew it was from God because God had already given me instructions to set up the app. So I'm saying that to say, stop making the excuses. Stop making excuses and just get started. Stop making excuses and just get started. And so the app is simply, you know, we know that life happens and life happens to all of us. And there's so much darkness in the world. So the purpose of the app is to give you a little escape um, and motivation and um, biblical wisdom on a daily basis as we break through this thing called life together and when I think about breakthrough when I think about break I think about actually breaking something breaking and so and that's what many of us need to do we need to break through some things but in order to break through some things we're gonna have to break off some things I'm gonna say that again in order for us to break through some things we're gonna have to break off some things and even break away from some things break away from some habits, break away from some people, places, and things, right? And so we talk a lot about that as well um, in Queendom Purpose Academy. And so I just want to encourage you to check out the, the uh, Breakthrough app. I really don't want to keep you long, um, but I, I was looking for the, app, the uh, affirmation. Let me go there. And then I'm going to pray and I'm going to let you go, okay? Um, but just declare this, this with me. Say, I will never be broke another day in my life. I will never be broke another day in my life. I will never be broke another day in my life. I will never be broke another day in my life. I will never be broke another day in my life. Say it again, say I will never be broke another day in my life. And so you can find the affirmation um, that I'm speaking about on our breakthrough app, we have something called the Vault of Gems, right? It's called the Vault, the Queen's Jewels, and it gives you, it drops a lot of gems. And so that's where you're going to find the affirmation that we're going to just do. And just follow along with me. Um, so go on the breakthrough app and grab your copy and just follow along with me. Um, but right now, I just want to pray. So Father God, I thank you for this time, Lord God. I just thank you, Lord God, that it is you who give us the power to give wealth, Lord God. Lord God, I just thank you and I pray against the struggle of lack that so many are, are dealing with, Lord God. So many are suffering and struggling from lack, Lord God. And we know that you're not a God of lack. You are a God of abundance. I thank you, Jesus, that you came to give us a life and give us life abundantly. Hallelujah. Not, not only spiritually, Lord God, but even financially, because it is not your desire that we will be broke, busted, and disgusted. Lord God, it is not your desire, it is not your will for us to suffer in lack and poverty, Lord God. And so I come against every poverty mindset, Lord God. Lord God, I pray release, financial release, miracles, signs, and wonders, Lord God. Now, right now, in the name of Jesus, we are breaking through every barrier that was set up by the enemy to stop and block our monies for, from coming through, Lord. Hallelujah. I am praying for everyone under the sound of my voice. Hallelujah. I declare and decree financial provision. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, that God, that even when you give us vision, you make provision for it. And so we thank you for vision today. We thank you for provision today, Lord God. Hallelujah. And I pray that you are blessing the works of our hands, Lord God. Hallelujah. Help us to look, look, look around the house. Look, 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 look at what you've already placed in our hands, Lord God. And we thank you that as we do that, as we seek you first, the kingdom of God and your righteousness, you'll begin to add everything we need and you will bless the works of our hands, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God. I thank you that we will have extra cash. Hallelujah so that we can meet every financial need. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord God, that 
Hallelujah. Shit at the blue side. I take authority right now. I take authority right now and I rebuke that spirit of lack. I rebuke that spirit of poverty mindset. That that's those things that have been passed down from one generation to another. Lord God, we are redeemed from the curse. Hallelujah. And so I break patterns and cycles right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. I declare and decree that every blockage will be removed in Jesus name. Hallelujah. And I cast out financial poverty and lack in Jesus name. I pray that we are making money. Hallelujah. From the multiple income streams that you have given us, Lord God. I thank you for your anointing, Lord God, that destroys every yoke. I thank you, Lord God, that what we are anointed to do we can't get paid to do. And finally, Lord, I speak that third John blessing. I pray above all things that we will prosper, that we will be in health, even as our soul prospers in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Believe it and receive it. In Jesus' name. Believe it and receive it. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes. So now let's go to our affirmation. Go to the Breakthrough app. Find the link in the comment section. And let's declare and decree this. I declare and decree hallelujah, that I will hear the voice of the Holy Spirit within me. I will lead and not follow. I will create and not destroy. I set new standards. Hallelujah. I defy the odds. I am a leader. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. I am the lender and not the borrower. Hallelujah. I am loved by God. I am chosen by God. I am protected by God. And no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Let's say that part again. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Hallelujah. And every tongue that rises against me in judgment shall be condemned in Jesus' name. I am a champion. Let's say that again. Say, I am a champion. I am a champion and everything I touch turns to gold. Let's say that part again. I am a champion and everything I touch turns to gold. I declare and decree that everything I'm seeking is now seeking me. I declare and decree that everything I'm seeking is now seeking me. It's my season. It's my time. It's my turn and I am humble. Amen. It's my season. It's my time. It's my turn and I am humble. I am happy. I am wealthy. I am strong. I am a champion. I will never be broke another day in my life. And I am created for greatness in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I pray that this has encouraged you. You be encouraged and not discouraged. Listen, come on over to the Breakthrough app. And um, and the other thing, oh, I forgot to tell you about the Breakthrough app. So on Saturdays, not only do we do the Wealth Builder session. So every Saturday is Wealth Builder Saturday. And again, let me just recap. And so you, if you have a business or even if you have a business idea, even if you've been praying about maybe starting a business, post your ideas and your business and the private Facebook community every Saturday, okay? And so now that we have the Breakthrough app, we do something called, I love my selfie Saturday. I say, I love my selfie. I love myself. I love myself. And so what we do for the, I love my selfie Saturday, let me just walk you through that real quick. You go to the Breakthrough app, okay? And you go to the section, Give me one second here. You go to our, okay, membership and retreat information page. And when you go to the membership and retreat information page and scroll down, you will see something that's entitled Selfie Saturday. And so you click on it and I, it's called I Love My Selfie. And so this is to uh, build confidence, right? We're, we're promoting um, self-love, we're promoting self-care and confidence because many 
of you, the reason why you're not even trying to start a business is because you lack self-confidence. Amen. And so what we do, we grab our selfies, our, our cell phones, everybody likes selfies, and we take a picture of ourselves. We take a picture. First, we take the picture. But then we look at ourselves and we just begin to examine ourselves. See, I need to examine myself, okay? And just begin to speak life into yourself. Say, I am fearfully and wonderfully made by the most high God. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. I am the image bearer of God. Say, I am all of those things. And then begin to ask yourself some questions. This is what we do. Look in the mirror. So we used to look in the mirror, but now we're doing a selfie Saturday. You can look in the mirror as well, but but selfie Saturday, because I love my selfie Saturday. We're going to look in our cell phones because we're going to have to take a picture and you're going to submit that picture. Okay. So we're going to look in our cell phones and ask yourself, say, what is the story that I've been telling myself? And I want you to be honest about the story that you've been telling yourself for all these years. So many of us have been just telling ourselves these stories, right? And if that story is no longer working for you, I want you to turn the page, turn the page and start a new chapter. This is why we journal. Let me show you my journal, one of my journals. This is why we journal, okay? Because you're gonna turn the page and you're gonna write, you're gonna start journaling out the story that you've been telling yourself, right? And then you're gonna start writing out uh, the story that you should be telling yourself. So we're not going to keep repeating the life that we see that we no longer want. We're going to begin to call those things that be not as though they were. So I kind of gave you too much information because I didn't want to give you all that about the journaling because the part about asking yourself about the story, your story, that's, that's part of uh, us journaling. And that's something that we kind of do together. But what you're going to do with the selfie, take your selfie, and then on the Breakthrough app, you're going to submit it. You're going to ask yourself some questions. You're going to speak into yourself and ask yourself some real questions as you examine yourself. And so I'm going to go to the selfie page. I love my selfie Saturday page. And I'm just going to read it to you to give you a better idea. Because I, I feel like I'm rambling. <laughs> okay. I love my selfie. We would love to hear your thoughts. This is what it says on the page concerns or problems with anything. Remember, it's not what I think of you. It's what, what's important is what you think of you. So you are challenged to take two pictures of yourself. The first one is with yourself. And the second photo will be submitted to me. And there's a camera at the bottom of the page and you just snap it. And, 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 and then begin to, um, in the description section, tell me about that picture. Tell me what your thoughts are when you look at yourself, when you took that picture, when you took that selfie, what is it that you, what did, what did you see? What did you see? What did you like about what you saw? Or, or what, what didn't you see? And what, what didn't you like about what you saw? And then you're gonna submit that to me. And then I'm gonna reach out to you. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna examine you together. Amen. And so anyway, uh, there's so much I want to tell you. There's so much I want to share, but for the sake of time, I don't want to continue to ramble on. Um, but yeah, so access to the Breakthrough app. I have the link in the comment section. And um, if you need me, contact me. You'll, my information is also, you can access me through the Breakthrough app. I'm doing everything through the Breakthrough app because it's just an easy way for you to know what's going on in the ministry. Um, and what's what we're doing, and what's going on in Queen of Purpose Academy. And so you can access if you want to donate, if you want to sew into the ministry, if you want to purchase, you know, um, apparel, like go to that Breakthrough app, okay? If you need help, if you need prayer, go to the Breakthrough app. Listen, everything that you need pertaining to this ministry, well, most of it anyway, it's on the Breakthrough app. And also our, we write the word, scripture, plan of the month, 
And what else will you find on the Breakthrough app? I'm trying to see. So you get your scripture plan, you get your 365 day promises from God. And so that we can, listen, go to the Breakthrough app, okay? Go to the Breakthrough app. All right. So anyway, God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. Thanks for joining me for this Wealth Builder Saturday. Remember, it is he who gives you the power to get wealth. So God is giving you the power to get wealth. He's giving you the power to create multiple income streams. He's giving you the power. Take back your power. Because see, some people told you you weren't worthy. Some people told you you weren't good enough. Some people told you you're too old, too young. You know, now you got, you got too many kids, no, this, that. There's always a reason for, for someone to put you down and keep you bound. I'm going to say that again. There's always a reason for someone to put you down and keep you bound, right? But, but this, is, this is your day to level up. This is your day to break, break some things. It's time to make a break. Right? In order to break through, you have to break off some things, people, places, and things. Right? So, again, thank you for joining me. I pray that this has helped you. I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining me for Wealth Builder Saturday. Yes, we are kings and queens in the kingdom of God. And so we move differently in this world. This is Pastor Carolyn, Pastor and Purpose Pusher of Tears of Breakthrough Ministry and Queendom Purpose Academy and Lounge. You are who God says you are and not what they say you are. God bless. I'll see you next time. Let's forget, forgive my fingers. I'm on my phone. So my finger might be in the way. <laughs> but anyway, God bless. I'll see you next time. Oh my goodness, it's not that. Oh, there we go. Whoop, I almost got it. Sorry. I apologize. My computer is no longer allowing me to do a Zoom without interruption. So I've been using my phone. So I pray that you excuse my finger. God bless.